Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong. It's been a long time since my last vlog, but here we are. We are at the highest pub in Britain and that's what this vlog is all about. So yes, the Tan Hill Inn high up in the Yorkshire Dales. That's where we are today. Now we're going to have a good look around the grounds and uh, you can hear some music playing because the pub is open. We're still social distancing a little bit, but uh, not only are we looking around the grounds, we are also stopping over. Over. I've got my last with me. We've booked a room and we will be stopping over tonight. Now I've heard that it is actually haunted so we might hear or see a ghost. Hope not. But what I do hope to see is how much the new owners of the Tan Hill pub are bringing this historic venue right up to date. So the highest pub in Britain, that's where we are going to be stopping tonight. We're going to have a look around the rooms as well, see what they've done in there. And I'm having a meal tonight in the pub. Like I say, it is supposed to be haunted, but I'm not going to think about that too much. Uh, so the pub stands 1,732 foot above sea level. So we are high up, high up above Keld. If you know Keld, uh, Keld is back that way, about four and a half mile walk. So let's have just a, a little look around the, uh, the grounds. So it looks like there's going to be some entertainment on tonight, and I hope so because we are stopping over tonight we're going to have a meal like I say and I'll let you know what that's like now because the Tan Hill pub is in such a remote location it does get cut off by snow in the winter you can't even get up here you might be able to see the winding road behind me and it's a long way up to the top here at Tan Hill, as you can imagine. Now, the uh, Tan Hill pub is famous for live entertainment, some cracking bands on, and they've had to cancel due to the coronavirus. They've had to actually cancel this year, but they've just moved them on to next year. And they've got uh, groups like Big Country and The Jam, and I might just be buying tickets for that next year. So imagine watching The Jam up here, nice cozy little situation. Now, the, uh, the group Scouting for Girls, they were stranded up here for quite a few days when they did a gig a few years ago. Now it's quite windy up here as well. Been a gorgeous day but uh, we're so high up that we do get the wind. Look at the campers. We've got people camping down here. They do accept uh, tents. Just a small fee. I think it's about 20 quid for a tent and the same for a camper van. There's lots of uh, camper vans. You can see them strewn around. So if you are coming up here for a drink in the winter, bear in mind that you might get snowed in. Many people over the Christmas period, New Year's parties have been snowed in here at the Tan Hill Inn for quite a few days. Can you imagine being snowed in a pub? I can think of worse things. Now the building dates back to the 17th century and in the 18th century it was used as a uh, as a hostel for workers digging coal pits. So it's really busy here actually, busier than I thought and a uh, really good atmosphere. Uh, so hoping to have a really good night tonight after the meal, maybe have a few drinks and I will bring you some of the sights and sounds of that. Now the Tan Hill Inn is unusual because of its isolation but the building wasn't always on its own. Uh, it was surrounded by uh, houses, little cottages that the workers obviously lived in while they were digging the coal mines. But the cottages were demolished with the closure of the mines in the early 20th century. Now, the Tan Hill pub was purchased in 1965 by a former customer, and that coincided with the opening of the Pennine Way and other long distance walks like the Coast to Coast. And that goes through uh, nearby Keld, which is about four and a half miles away. So I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far on the uh, Tan Hill pub. I'm just going to go in and have a look at my room right now actually but it's really good to be back with you after a whole month of no uploads so really good to be back. Let's go and have a look at my room. So me and Sheila are almost ready to go down for our evening meal. I'll let you know what we think of that tomorrow. The rooms are absolutely amazing for a 17th century building. They've brought them really up to date. So we're going to soak up some of the atmosphere of the Tan Hill this evening and I will see you tomorrow.
Good morning, I've just taken you for a little walk this morning. It's about six o'clock, so I'm looking a little bit bleary eyed after last night. It was great, there was a band on as you could see, and uh, yeah, great evening and slept really well. So I can definitely recommend the Tan Hill Inn for a stopover. So I took a walk away from Tan Hill because there's lots of tents and uh, campers, camper vans, and I didn't want to be making too much noise. So uh, taking a little bit of a walk away. But yeah, pretty cold this morning. So what was the food like? Well, the food was absolutely excellent and the staff did a really, really good job. We actually did put online that uh, we wanted a romantic table and that it was date night. And they actually read that and they put us on a great table. And yeah, the food was absolutely excellent. They're doing a really good job there at Tan Hill, the staff, because they're on minimum staff because of the restrictions and the uh, social distancing. Well, it was freezing outside, so I've come back in. We've got our tokens for his breakfast a little bit later on. Now I just wanted to uh, let you know something else about Tan Hill and the famous Everest Double Glazing Company. They demonstrated their product here at Tan Hill and I've got to say it's been really warm and uh, the only draft that there has been has been on the pumps down in the pub. So the weather has really changed here at Tan Hill. If you visit Tan Hill, which I do recommend by the way, I've really enjoyed my stay at this uh, historic building. Uh, but you can see we've got some uh, rain coming in now. It's going to rain again, just had a downpour. So I'm going to round this vlog off right here. If you've enjoyed this vlog, give me a like. And like I say, if you come to Tan Hill, be prepared for the ever-changing weather for sure. And there's some big changes going on here. More money is being ploughed into this venue. Uh, they're going to have an observatory for stargazing because it's a dark sky area. And you can also, at certain times of the year, see the Aurora Borealis, the uh, northern lights. They're also playing into the uh, music venue sort of thing. Big names next year, the Jam and uh, Big Country. And they've also had scouting for girls here before. So it's a big uh, live music venue as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog it's just starting to rain again now <laughs> so bear that in mind when you come in here uh, we've got the uh, campers that are all packing up and going away it's a great place for wild camping and uh, just general camping and your camper van so yeah we are getting the rain again now so uh, i hope you've enjoyed this vlog give me a like if you have i upload a vlog every month so if you've enjoyed it consider subscribing and if i don't see you through the month i will see you in the next one bye